In this video, we're going to go over the tenant balance history page. To get here, you want to go under the tenants tab, tenant balance history. On the right hand side, you can select the specific property from the drop down menu. In this gray box, you can select the specific tenant. And you can also change the tracking date. Currently, it's defaulted to the earliest transaction entered. Below, we have a six month preview. You can go forward in time and backward in time by clicking on the arrows. And on the left, we have the row names. Do you received it balance? You can click on these blue arrows to open and close the rows. If we click on the blue arrow next to the word due, we can see there's $1,400 of rent due for June and a $50 late fee. You can click on these amounts and change them if you want to give the tenant credit or if you want to delete the late fee. The received row shows the payments received by the tenant. We can see in May we received $1,400, a balance in red showing that the tenant still needs to pay. Let's say you want to run a report to see the tenant's full payment history. Simply click on Generate Tenant Payment History Report at the bottom. It will open up a new tab for you like this. And at the very top, you can export the report to Excel, and you can also print or save as a PDF. On the left-hand side, we can see the company name, and on the right-hand side, we can see the logo. If we scroll down, we can see the tenant's name and their contact information, the current lease information, and at the very bottom is the rent payment history. On the left-hand side, we can see what was owed, an opening balance, security deposit, rent, late fee. We can see the total due amount and the balance that's still due. And on the right-hand side, we can see what was collected. We can see that 8900 has been collected and the column to the right of it shows rent forgiven and the last column shows any notes tied to the transaction. If you need to edit the tenant information or the lease information, simply go back to the tenant balance history page. And on the right hand side, we have the tenant details widget. Simply click on edit to edit the tenant information. And below we have the lease information. Click on edit to edit any of the information here. 